Surah 38. The placement of the high points and low points create different shapes to the human face. Also the bone thickness, width and length, plus the different arrangements of the bone. There are three levels of facial structure for all humans, regardless of race. Plus there is degrees of change. The first levels are classified under their proper names. The first level, which is also the lower level is Oshgoa, pronounced Oshgoa. This is a very harsh and crude level. At this level, the creator was creating new forms of creation by creative thought or the artist at work. Persons of this level have rather plain, sometimes rather interesting so-called ugly facial features that most people feel repulsed towards. People with these type of facial features are good friends to have, but make deadly enemies. They are into handmade items, woodcraft, a primitive lifestyle, and like rather harsh music. They are into the simple things of life and are content to own very few possessions. The second level, which is the middle level, is homato, pronounced homatu. This level is partially harsh, crude, mild, and craftful. At this level, the creator was recreating or changing from the first level to the second level of art and creation, or the improving level. Persons of this level have a partial good facial features that most people accept readily, that just blend into the community of all people. People with these type of facial features usually are outgoing. They are friendly people to be around. They usually help out strangers and trust people readily, too much so. They are into the arts, crafts, music, and leadership level. They make good mates. They like to collect things and usually have a lot of things around them. Their surroundings are nearly always cluttered and they do not like to give up anything. They usually have harsh tempers, a crude way of conversing, and they enjoy a mild life of beautiful, relaxing surroundings. They usually enjoy mild music and other mild people. The third level, which is the top level, is Poltai, pronounced Potai. This is the beautiful level. It is the relaxing state. This was when the creator was satisfied with his work. People of this level are handsome, beautiful, pretty, cute, glamorous, and very good looking. Most are conceited, in love with themselves, enjoy having other people admire them. They are usually forward, egotistic, and very cunning people. Sometimes they enjoy hurting others, and if you do not agree with them or go along with them, they will seek revenge upon you. They usually like their own way. They enjoy the luxury lifestyle, fine garments, fine food, fine houses, jewels, silver, and gold. They are the type of people that are sometimes cursed by their own mistakes and by their own inner hate. When this happens, they usually do just the opposite of what they had been doing before. They prefer rags, squalid conditions, meager food, and little or no possessions. They like very fine or lively music. They enjoy being around others of their kind. The degree of change are first, birth, second, babyhood, third, youth, fourth, adulthood, and fifth, old age. Each level has these five degrees. Surah 39. The thought lives or exists in non-space and non-time. Only its outside action or energy exists in time and space. It is at the Navu of existence, where its enjoyment of existence lies outside of itself. We see a bird flying at great speed, yet within its own creative self, the bird does not move or does anything else. Or is space to be found at the Navu state? Only what it has manifested outside of itself. When we go unto Akka and become within the state of Navu, we shall be at the point of where only our thoughts live, move, see, hear, and feel. At this state, total self-realization and the highest consciousness will be reached. We become total energy and everything that exists will be outside of ourselves. Surah 40, mysticism and that of being a mystic, lie in the search of breaking or solving formulas of the existence of all creation and coming to the realization that what had been a mystery is now known. The mystic is the teacher who has solved the mysteries and now is teaching others how to solve the mysteries. The mystic does not teach a student of the answers but rather how those students can find their own answers. The mystic would be defeating hers or his purpose if he or she gave the total answers to all the mysteries. So the mystic shows how to solve the mysteries. Formula breaking is done through many ways and using many principles. Always the first principle is how something is created or exists. The second principle is why it was created and why it exists. The third principle is exactly what it is. The fourth principle is, is it necessary to exist? The fifth principle is what benefit to all creation does it exist? Once you have determined and know all the principles, the next step is how to come to the understanding and formulate as to how it came into being and how it can be recreated, changed, or done away with. When you have reached this understanding, you have solved the mystery of existence. Surah 41. The Axa point is not Navu as the Axa point is at the center of total power, 
or having complete self and complete control of all that there is. Navu pronounced Ne Vu is the point of total mastery within self and being at the same place at the same time as the Creator without being in time or space. Surah 42 It has been taught that there are those born of divine incarnation. Divine is coming straight from the Creator as a creation that has existed for some time. An incarnation that is divine is a spirit that has created or has had created for it a body in which to travel the plane of our existence. The Hittion divine incarnations have been Bela, Belisa, Assam, Helia, and Yomua, a person having lived upon the earth by being born of a flesh mother, and then either leaving the flesh or taking the flesh unto Akka, cannot be a divine incarnation. Incarnation is to create a body for a spirit that already exists as a spirit. Reincarnation is to be born in the flesh once more from being in the flesh before. An incarnated person has never had a body of flesh from birth from another. It receives its body from the direct manifestation of self or the Creator, and not from the mother of flesh. I think therefore I must exist. To think is existence for all that exists knows of its existence. Even rocks and metals know of their existence. For all that does exist, exists because the thought thought of it. Therefore, all that there is is existence of the thought, and all that there is is the thought. Therefore, all that there is knows of its existence, because it is the thought. Therefore, it knows it exists. Surah 44. The energy that we use as our power flows from between our eyes from a gland known as the pineal gland. We also receive our power this way. The power is stored up in this gland. The power, therefore, does not enter into any other part of the body, such as the brain or nervous system. At the leaving of your flesh body, the cosmic energy leaves this gland. We have both a spirit and soul within our bodies, which emerge as one upon death. The power is the spirit. The soul is the realization of knowing who you are when they emerge as one. The total self guides its existence onto another plane. And it's from this plane that we either reincarnate or go onto Aka. The total realization of soul and spirit as one comes only at the departing of the flesh. Surah 45 The thought came into my head by my mind being in a total relaxed state. Why not probe deep within myself and from what Apsaris had taught me? I would find stored all my knowledge. I knew that I would find the answer to overcome this physical, mental, and spiritual suffering, boredom, and imprisonment if I probed deep enough. Absaras was the greatest teacher I have ever known. I wished I had lived during his time, although I feel I had in my past lives. Absaras, I feel, became more than a master. He became a savior and a messenger from the Creator. Absaras's teachings will become immortal within themselves. The QR Beth could never have been written, or could man have solved his burdens had not Apsaras taught. Apsaras's teachings alone are as great as the QR Beth, for if people lived by what he taught, I would not be in this prison. The people who cast me here would not have hatred in their hearts for me. The people I helped would not have needed help, and everyone would love one another and everything around them, and all would be in harmony with all. But all will never accept his teachings, for this is the plan of things. It is the solving of a formula within itself. I probed deep and found in my heart and soul his beloved teachings, and knew since although I never wrote the cure Beth, I would have his teachings or at least part of them placed in bindings on parchment and give it to the Hideons and non-Hideons alike, and hoped it would inspire others as it had inspired me. I took his teachings and used them and escaped from my sufferings. I became overjoyed. A great sense of total well-being, spiritually high and mental relaxation overwhelmed me, and I knew then to write. Words and phrases flowed from my mind. I wrote Apsara's teachings by my own interpretation of what I had received from him and relayed these interpretations to others. So thus I formed the Sacred Arcane's book too. I had hoped if they were not accepted, which I could not see how they could be by the plan of the book, then I at least hoped they would be known only next to the QR Beth. This is how I come to write these messages for you. I shall not relay to you any secret teachings as I had taken a vow that I would not reveal to Hitanti the sacred and secretive teaching of Aradia, which he had given to the Hidian people. I have kept my vows. I have given of myself to my children and they to me. I have come into harmony, understanding, acceptance, love, forgiveness, patience and strength of self, spirit and mind. I have taught, I have helped others. I have tried to be positive, although many times I was not always positive. I, Beloma V, the thirteenth proctor of the Hidian faith, do hereby resign of these messages. Oh, he lamb.